Hey, it's Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and I am going to share a few ways to use pocket cards in a memory planner or in your planning system. So I'm talking about the doodles and dashes pocket cards that are available in um, on their own as a subscription or with the modern memory keeping kit. Um, so you get several um, double-sided pocket cards and pocket cards traditionally are for pocket page scrapbooking but um, I just I think it's it's they're so fun and so versatile for a lot of different things so I'm gonna share that today so first up um, I love using especially the pocket cards from the Coco Daisy kits to create dashboards for in inside my planner. So for this setup, I have used two different pocket cards to be the main focus for these two um, covers um, for, this is the weeks, three month weeks booklet. And then this is the um, doodles and dashes to Daisy weeks insert. And um, so they, it's just an easy way to use the pocket cards. And, and because there are typically a few pocket cards in each collection for the month, you can use, you know, you can see that I have two different monthly pocket cards. Um, and to cover this insert, I literally, I just cut paper from the planner kit down to the size that I need, I fold it over and just by folding it over, um, it stays in place really well. However, you could use some washi tape to secure it. For this um, cover, I just stamped on the back, I stamped onto the craft cover and then matted the pocket card with some paper and then added a little bit more embellishment to that. So. One way to use pocket cards is to embellish dashboards. And I'll show you one other example of that here. So this is one of the um, four by, this is one of the four by six pocket cards. And I have covered my classic planner, happy planner dashboard divider, monthly divider, with the pocket card and some paper. Now I might go back and add more elements, but I feel like even just this makes this feel done, um, which is which is a really fun way to use the pocket cards, especially the four by six ones. So we're going so we've talked about adding them to dividers. And then the next way you can use them are to create sort of monthly currently pages in your memory planner. So here is, once again, here is a dashboard or divider where I use the pocket card as sort of the main focus of the divider. But then I've also gone in, because I don't use the horizontal pages, let me give you a an example well so the pages after the monthly page are horizontal and I don't tend to use the horizontal pages when I am memory planning and so in order to still utilize these pages I because they are backed to they're back to back with the vertical pages I like to put pocket cards in between and create kind of like a monthly currently page and so um, I will have a place to put my currently list and then a few like big moments for the month and I've done this in like an unpocket page version now if I wanted to add more little bits I could with a pocket page inside the planner and just because I I'm I know I will be asked. This is the this is a print Prussian A5 wide ring bound cover. 
So we have um, using, creating a currently page or covering pages that you maybe aren't using um, with pocket cards. And then the final thing I wanted to mention for using pocket cards is to use them in on your actual weekly memory planning pages. So um, this is the, the vertical pages of the Daisy Planner. And as you can see, the if you were to use the like paper, the regular paper, the scale of the paper is much bigger. But when you look at the pocket cards, they actually have a scale that works a little bit better within the Daisy Planner or within any memory planner. So um, a simple cut and you could use this quote and then use this part, this part elsewhere. Again, you can trim it, trim the pocket card horizontally to be able to use these elements or be able to cut down the pocket card to fit in the columns. Um, so this is just a really great way to use these pocket cards because the scale of the card is smaller and so you get more of the pattern on the page. Um, here's another great one where all you would have to do is cut down the, you know, cut the sides a little bit and it would fit really nicely in the boxes. You could cut down this journaling card to fit either this way or cut it or and also you can just have a pocket card go over multiple boxes that works really well too so um yes this is the final option well one of the many options for using the pocket cards in a planning system is to actually use them on your planner pages so I hope that gave you some ideas for using pocket cards in your planners. Um, let me know in the comments um, other ways you like to use pocket cards, which could maybe include bookmarks or, um, you know, as tip-ins, um, lots of options. So um, thanks for watching and make sure to check out the blog post.